Lars, you're welcome back to the Amgen Tour of California. How many Tour of Californias have you done so far? It's going to be my third time. So uh, 11 and 2011, 2012, I did it. Last year we were not invited as a team, otherwise I would uh, do it too. So I like to be back. <laughs> It's good weather. It's uh, a challenging course. Um, Robert Hastings has won this race before, and now you find yourself in, in a full leadership role here for Team Belkin. Can you tell me um, what's that experience like for you, and do you enjoy being in that leadership role? Yeah, it's really nice uh, to be the team leader in a, in a big race for the, for the team because yeah, because Belkin is obviously a Californian-based company, so it's a, it's a big race, and uh, I hope to get a big result. And of course, you got a little bit pressure, but. I need some fresh air, you know, so it's uh, it's good for me to be the team leader or a leader over here. Yeah. You had a fantastic uh, ride last year at the Tour de France, so you're used to dealing with that pressure. Have you had a chance to look at, uh, at least on paper, some of the, the route of the Tour of California, and how do you think that suits you? Yeah, of course. I I, uh, I was looking the route of, of the, yeah, I got the, the race map of the race uh, direction, and uh, I don't know the mountains. Uh, yeah, going uphill is going uphill. Yeah, right? That's what I said yesterday, you know, you just go as fast as you can. And uh, yeah, ba yeah, basically it is like that. So you just have to pay attention. But when the road rises, uh, if, if it's a little bit more flat, you just go harder and it does the same uh, pain in your legs than uh, when it's steep. So I just go up as fast as possible and at the, at the finish line, we'll see. Do you find, do you think the time trial will be more critical than maybe the, the two mountaintop finishes? Yeah, I saw the time trial yesterday. And it's a it's a it's a hard one, and uh, yeah, you know the it's a big big favorites are like Wigo and uh, Taylor Finney, so yeah, the, it's for me it's just a matter of not losing too much time to them, and uh, compared to the other other climbers, uh, we'll see. Uh, and then we, uh, yeah, we, I don't know how good Wigo is climbing, you know, but possibly the TT is decisive, and he's going to win the GC because of that. He's a great rider. He's a former Tour de France winner who's going top ten in uh, in Paris Robert this year. I was watch, I was routing for him before television. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a great rider, and uh, I like to to make him uh, it at, it as hard as possible <laughs> the the mountains. After Tour of California, you mentioned uh, you're staying in California. You can tell me a little bit about your plans. Yeah, I stayed there for the, for three more weeks on altitude in uh, Donna Lake near Lake Tahoe. And I'm just going to train my ass off over there to get in shape before the Tour de France. And, uh, and uh, I, I heard it was the biggest trout of uh, of the U.S. were in the lake. So I'm trying to catch some fish in the afternoon, you know, after I'm uh, tired from training. I can just sit and try to catch some trout. No, but I just, it's it's uh, it's like a minor, uh, yeah, I, I call it Rocky Balboa camp, you know. I'm alone in the mountains and just train, eat, sleep and focus. repeat, focus, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we were talking about. You mentioned. Uh, do you have a favorite beer? In Holland, I got. Uh, I got the Belgian beer Orval. I like to like to like to drink. So uh, yeah, but it's really difficult to. Can you to get, get that here in the U.S.? I don't think so. It's already difficult in Belgium. You're gonna <laughs> suffer for three weeks then without your favorite beer. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I, I'll find some beers. No worries. <laughs> well, good luck this week. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thanks.